The subject of tonight's meeting requires immediate attention. It's that of Doug Collins. I want you to come forward right now. Yes, don't worry about it. The buses will wait. Your friends will wait. Come forward as we sing this chorus together. Just as I am. Yes, come on up. Without one flea. Everybody, I love you, sweet Jesus. Doug, it's a great altar call. Great altar call. Uh, looks like all the furniture's under conviction. <laughs> yeah, the altar's just jam-packed, as you can see. Listen, would you pray for the lamp there, Dad? I think it needs some ministry. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hallelujah. All right, it's got the light. Good. What are you preaching on tonight? Dad, I've really been praying about it, and, and I sense deep within me that I'm going to be preaching on the platform. <laughs> you smart Alec kid. What are you going to be preaching on? <laughs> Revelation 3.20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Prophetic. Pathetic. Come on in. Yo, Doug, you ready to go to the Solid Rock Cafe and hear Herbie Henderson and the Holy Rollers? You bet, man. Just got to go brush my teeth. Good to see you, Clarence. Cheryl? Cheryl, how you doing tonight? You all right? Oh, just fine, Good. I guess. Clarence, listen. Why don't you take my keys and go out to my car and play with my electric windows? Really? You've never let me do that before. <laughs> ready, Cheryl? Uh, yeah. Listen, Doug, I really need to talk to you before we go. Listen, uh, I'm... <laughs> Under a real heavy anointing right now, and I gotta preach tonight. Do you think it could wait till after the meeting? Yeah, sure. Great, let's go. Good night, Mr. Collins. Good night. See you, Dad. Hey, Doug. Yeah. I just want to let you know, I'm really proud of you, son. <laughs> if you're gonna preach tonight, you better go on. <laughs> yeah. I am not dismayed. Walking in faith and victory, you gotta walk in faith and victory for the Lord your God is with you. Good job, Herbert Henderson and the Holy Rollers. Pretty good, huh? All right. Listen, you guys, as we close tonight, I just want to uh, share a scripture with you. The book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse number 20, Jesus says something very interesting. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And I believe a lot of you, you, as you've heard the music tonight in the ministry, have felt the knocking of Jesus at the door of your heart. And some of you need to make a decision tonight to open that door up and say, Yes, Jesus, I want you to come into my life. And so I'm going to ask as we close that everyone would just bow your heads and close your eyes just for a moment. And if you're here tonight and you say, Doug, that's me. I know that I need Jesus in my life. I want you to do something. I want you to raise your right hand just as high as you can. Would you do that quickly? Just slip it up right wherever you are. Okay. Thank you very much for those hands. All right. You who raise your hands, I want you to just get up out of your seat. Don't be afraid. Just get up out of your seat right now. And come right down to the front here. Come on, man. Over here. Come on. God bless you. Good to have you. All right. Good job. Good job. What's your name? Lance. Lance? Jesus really loves you, Lance. Good to have you here. And that goes for all of you. Jesus loves you so much. And I want to lead you in a prayer right now to make Jesus your Lord. He's going to change your life. Okay, Lance. Now, as far as continuing your Christian walk, one of the first things you need to know is how to recognize the Antichrist. The number to look out for is 666. 
Don't let him put it on your forehead or your right hand. I personally wouldn't let him put it on my left hand or, or get, a, get a phone number or a license plate or anything like that with 666 on it. Now, let's talk about Daniel's 70th week. Okay, Clarence, I think that's enough foundational teaching. Thanks a lot. <laughs> hey, Lance, uh, where do you live? Yeah, you can call me Goat. Goat, really, like Billy Goat? Nah. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Goat, <laughs> uh, if you need anything, man, just let us know. We're really glad to see you invite Jesus into your life tonight. Well, uh, I, I could use a place to stay tonight. Well, you don't have a home? Where do you sleep? I uh, slept in the park last night. Wow, that sounds like fun. You could sleep over at my house. I'm sure my parents wouldn't mind. We could get out the Snoopy Jello molds and just have a Well, little I... He can stay with us. Well, I mean, Clarence has already offered. I don't want to intrude, you know. <laughs> hey, listen, Doug, that guy's nice, but uh, he's got me kind of confused. You make God a lot easier to swallow. If I have my choice, I'd rather stay at your house tonight. Well, I, I guess I'd be okay just till you, you know, get on your feet. Doug, he is on his feet. He needs a place to sleep. Thanks, Clarence. Hey, listen, why don't you come over? I want to show you some things in the book of John, some good stuff. Doug, can we talk tonight? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, listen, you guys get out in the car. I'll be right there. We're just going to talk for a minute, okay? Good. Now, let's talk tithing. You got any cash? Have a seat, Cheryl. Thanks. Doug, listen, I've known this for a couple of weeks, and I've been putting it off. Maybe I shouldn't tell you. No, tell me. I'm all ears. No, maybe this isn't the right time. This is the right time. Yeah, but maybe it's not the right place. Cheryl, this is the right place. Doug, don't get mad at me. Hey, I'm not mad. Is this the face of a madman? Doug, I'm serious. Maybe it would be better if you were mad. Cheryl! I'm moving. What? I said I'm moving. My dad's been transferred to a new division. So big deal, you're moving across town. No. I'm moving to New Jersey. Get out of town. You're not moving. Yes, I am. My dad's company has built a new division just outside of Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And he's job supervisor of the entire project. Okay, well, that's great for your dad, but that doesn't mean you have to move. Doug, I am not ready to live on my own. So when are you leaving? Monday morning. This Monday morning? That's in three stinking days. How come you didn't tell me before this? Now that's the face of a madman. I'm not mad, I'm just angry. You're moving away in three days, and I'm just finding out now. Does anyone else know about this? No. Doug, I just wanted to keep things as they were for as long as I could. Now, you can get mad at me and ignore me for my last three days here. Or you could be a friend and we could have the greatest three days of our life. Let's just be mad at each other and not talk. Okay. I hate you. I hate you too. This little head of mine, I'm gonna make it shine. Honey, what time are our children coming home tonight? What children? Hey, you guys, we had another great night at the Solid Rock. Those children. Oh, it all comes rushing back to me now. You guys, I want you to meet a friend of mine. This is Lance. Uh, Pearson. Pearson, that's right. This is my dad, Mr. John Collins. Nice to meet you, Lance. And this is my mom, Mrs. Collins. Good evening, Lance. <laughs> and guess what? Lance got gloriously saved tonight at the Solid Rock. Well, praise the Lord, son. Yeah, I was preaching up there, and uh, what, there were another 20, 30 others that got saved, don't you think? No, I think it was more like three or four. Who's counting? <laughs> you know, Lance, the Bible says that when somebody receives Jesus, all the angels in heaven are rejoicing. That's right. The devil's defeated in your life now. You really think so? Yeah. Anyways, uh, the reason I brought Lance home is the guy doesn't have a place to stay. He, he slept in a park last night. Oh, man. So uh, I kind of said maybe he could stay with us tonight. Well, come on in, Lance. Come on in. Let me check your luggage there. Would everybody like something to drink? Oh, yeah. How about iced tea? Great. Super. Go ahead, Doug. Why don't you get that for us? Y you want me to get the tea? Sure, go ahead. Well, Lance, what brings you to town? 
Well, I'm just where, kind of, where are you from? Kind of all over, really. How old are you? Uh, 18. Did you finish school? No. How come? Well, we moved around a lot. I was in like 23 schools before I was in the 10th grade, and I never got a good handle on learning. And, oh. and I, I wanted to learn, though, but I got too far behind. Well, where are your parents now? They split up. I don't know where my dad is, and my mom doesn't have enough money to take care of me, so... Besides, I'm 18. I can take care of myself. Well, Lance, if you're in a, living in a park, you, uh, you must need some help. Well, yeah, and, and that's why I appreciate you guys so much, because, you know, you're going to let me stay here and everything. You bet, Lance. You can stay here as long as you need to. Listen, we'll help you. We've got plenty of food, clothes upstairs you can wear. We'll get you a job, and you can buy a car. Well, Lance, what my wife means is that, uh, you know, you can't stay here forever, but we'd be glad to help you out for a couple of three nights. That's what I said, honey. Hey, uh, here's some tea, you guys. Lance, come on up to my room. Check out my stereo, man. <laughs> Gosh, he got saved under Doug's preaching. He's really sincere, isn't he? We'll see. We'll see. Inside. Did go without a hitch? Yeah, they swallowed the whole thing. What a bunch of idiots. Now you know what to do tonight. It's as good as done. I'll see you tomorrow night at the church. Mode it to be. Looks like we got a good weather report. Wait, let me read this right here. I need paper. Good morning, Lance. What would you like for breakfast? Do you have any Count Chocula? No. I've got fruit and, um, fruit and, oh, what do you want, dear? Oh, nothing, honey. Okay. So, Lance, tell me, did you go to church anywhere the whole time you were growing up? Well, I lived with my grandmother until I was 10 years old, and then, uh, I got confirmed in the Baptist Coven in church when I was 12. Hey, Lance, what you doing? Come on over here, man. What about that guy? He's lying. How would you like to go swimming with Clarence and I at his house? 
You mean you've got your own pool? Well, we'll be swimming in my parents' pool. It's a lot bigger than mine. Mine's small and kind of shaped like a turtle, and I don't think we could all fit in it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you got any extra trunks for him? Yeah, you bet. Great, let's go. Yeah, come on, I'll show you mine. One and a half jack knife backflip gainer revolution. Yeah, like this. We can't wait. You going somewhere, Doug? Oh, yeah. Uh, is it all right if we just go over to Clarence's swim maybe two hours? Yes, thanks for asking. Great, thanks. See you guys. Bye bye. I learned this one from the great Zoldini. Watch this, watch this. Okay, do a good one. Do a good one. Okay, that's it. Hey, Lance, come on in. The water's great, man. I'm not much of a swimmer. Oh, come on, jump in. Be a man. What are you, chicken? All right. Great, man. Thanks. It's just fun. Yeah. Hey, uh, how do you feel about what happened last night, Lance? What? What happened? Well, you know when you came up front at Solid Rock and got saved and all? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Hey, you know, Jesus gave this parable this one time, and he said the word of God is just like a seed. And when it's sown in your heart, the devil comes immediately to try to steal it. We can't let him do that. Really? Yeah. I don't think the devil will steal anything here. Well, hey, man, Jesus loves you a lot. So do we. Thanks. Thanks. Get two. Okay, not this game. Do I have to? Yes, come on. Okay, it's someone who's going to be soaking wet in about two seconds. What do you mean? What do I mean? <laughs> I didn't mean it. Oh, maybe I did. <laughs> hey, I bet I can hold my breath underwater longer than you can. Well, I really don't think I should. Oh, come on. You're not chicken, are you? No. Well, come on. Let's go. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> I'm going to get you for this. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> no, I'm really sorry. I really am. So you guys are probably pretty busy packing, huh? Well, Dad's company's taking care of most of it. Well, that's nice. Hey, listen, remember those plans we made about going to the same college and everything? Think maybe we can still do that? I don't know. We'll just have to see, Doug. It's still a ways off. Hey, dudes, this guy's really good. He's held his breath underwater for all about three minutes now. What do you mean, Clarence? Father in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Father in Jesus' name, Lance will live and not die in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Satan, you cannot steal his life in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, Lance, in Jesus' name, there he is, in the name of, there it is, Jesus Christ, right. you're okay, man, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Stop that. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, stop that. You can't stop it, man, you almost drowned. Are you okay? Stop saying that stuff! Just stop it! Hey. 